Welcome back to the Hoppy Time Podcast. This is Lena. I'm Chris Cass. And I'm Flames Kid, and this is fucking weird. Well, it's 2022, and it's only going to get weirder. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, th- I feel weird. I feel like they stripped away my powers, and, you know, I'm like... I'm like you didn't have powers to begin with. Anyways, what have you guys been up to? Uh, fuck that. You start off. It's your pick. You get to start us off. It is my pick this time, isn't it? Yep. All right. Well, new year, new me, right? Psych. Cut uh, the bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> um, not really my thing for the new year, new me. It's always the same old, you know, same old, same old. But uh, new year, it's been going. I started my class. It's seriously, seriously, seriously kicking my ass. Um, it's a lot of work, but I mean, of course, it's a it's an extensive class reduced into five weeks. So I guess I knew what to expect. But now that it's happening, it's like, ugh. But, um, yeah, it's been the new year. Got to spend some time with the family. And it's just been interesting. We're only a few days in. What is it today? The 6th? Today is the 6th. And yes. it feels like it's February already to me. And really? Yeah. Just for, for me, it's, it's going by slow. It's really? I yeah. feel it like going by really fast. But it that's just because my days are just like boom, 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 boom. It's just. Nah, man. For me, it's like, damn it. We're still in the single digits of January. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I think it's different for me, but um, it, I can't complain. This is what I wanted. I am loving my class. It's just stressful. But um, yeah, you know. Well, I mean, what do you expect? You're taking a, a technically a five month course in in less than thirty days. Yeah. So I no, mean, five in months? exactly in five in five uh, weeks to be exact. So twenty five days, less than thirty days, with the exception of, exception of some holidays in between. There's one. Yeah, still. But yeah, but still. Um, but I'm I'm just excited to get this going and, you know, going in the right path. So that's uh, that's pretty cool and that's pretty interesting. Um, and then what today was, was that um. It's 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 okay. If you want to say it in Spanish, it's Dia de los Reyes. Well, I, thought you, that I was just waiting for you to say it. If if you say it in uh, English, it's the Dia three de, wise men. Not Dia de los Muertos. <laughs> Wrong Dia. Uh, that was uh, last month, sir. That was two months ago. I know, I was kidding. No, no, you weren't. You were serious. No, I know when it is. (laughs) What else have you been up to? Hmm, interesting. Um, Just school, honestly. No life aside from that. Oh, it is the another September, basically, for me, where it's the month of all birthdays. Um, I have my little brother's birthday. At midnight tonight will be one of my little cousin's birthday. Uh, Chris Cass's birthday is coming up. Uh, we have Whoa. my suegra's birthday is coming up. Uh, two of them, actually. But, um, yeah, it's just going to get hectic. My mom's is next month, and it's just birthday season all over again for me. And um, not looking forward to that, but also very looking forward to that, if that makes any sense. No, that doesn't make a lick of sense. It does make a lick of sense. How? It just means I'm excited for it, but not entirely ready. All I hear is money, 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 money. What is money, a money, lick money, of money, sense? <laughs> <laughs> Was it you just lick the change in your pocket? <laughs> How is that? I don't get it. Somebody explain it to me. But um, yeah, I don't get it. Some some phrases are like, either either they were uh, ori- they originated in a time where like uh, spoken word was different than today's lingo, so we don't understand it. But you know. Like, it still had its meaning when it came out. I don't think it, I don't think it really made sense when it came out either. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I don't think it made a lick of sense when it came out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, 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 there were different times, you know. Some phrases come originate like from the 1800s, 1900s, you know. I don't think they were saying lick of sense in the 1800s. You don't know that? Really? I mean, you know, See, I, for me it's not more f- from when they came from, but more like, why did they say that? <laughs> why was that even a it's thing? Like, it's like Shakespeare say, "Where art thou?" Like, what the fuck? Hey, man, that was a language. Okay, whatever. People study that. <laughs> nah, I gotta agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> why art thou really? Yeah, my liege. How oh well, that's that's different. That's how different. How should I know? Yeah, but so aren't you the one going to school? Shouldn't yeah. you know these things? I'm yeah, creating Lina. bacteria and mold as we speak. Mold is m- I don't do English. You don't do English? I don't English. And what are you doing right now? I am messing with chemicals and creating bacteria. 
I showed you my bacteria, right? I have a yeah, picture of my bacteria. Yeah, I still don't get it. And uh, uh, apparently you're disgusting. If there's bacteria growing on the wristband of your watch. There's actually technically bacteria all over us. Prove it. Well, I'll swab you and I'll ask my professor to let me incubate it <laughs> so I can show you. But um, yeah, I've been taking microbiology. I, I guess I didn't mention that, but it's been really, really interesting. Um, uh, just it's been a lot. It's been a lot of work. Uh, but yeah, um, we're going to popcorn it over to Flames Kid. How you doing, sir? I'm good. I'm good. Um, had an interesting New Year's. Um. Uh, I guess this is the mega episode, which is the last episode of our last season. Um, we did uh, have New Year's in between that. Uh, we spent most of it here at, at the house. And uh, the last part, we went to uh, Lena's aunt's house. And we were just hanging out there, um, just watching them, you know, chit chat and laugh about weird things. And drink. And drink. Yeah. Um, Kind of drink. <laughs> well, we weren't really doing the drinking. Yeah, we were yeah, watching yeah. others do the drinking. Um, and then we jetted on home like around three, three thirty. Woke I up don't remember anymore. In the <laughs> morning. In the morning. Yeah. I mean, technically, we did the same thing for Christmas too. Very true. Um, woke up on Saturday. I think Saturday was productive. Was it? I don't think those these past two weekends were productive at all. Yeah, I, no, you know what? Sa- Saturday was a lazy day, so we stayed in, and we were just watching. I think we finished watching Harry. No, 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 no. We finished watching Harry Potter on New Year's yep. Eve. Yeah, that's true. We were just wa- we were just doing something on Saturday. Um, uh, how do you know it was productive? I don't know. I just want to say it's productive to sound interesting. <laughs> <laughs> the lies. <laughs> I know. There you go, caught in the lie. Now, um, Sunday was a productive day. We went out for breakfast. Um, and. Then we busted missions um, in search of the Jugios. Um, but other than that, I mean, I don't think we really did much. I think it was more like a like a laid back weekend. You know, I mean, it was cool. I had three days off, which was kind of weird, um, but it was just cool, laid back. Um, what else? And I guess my fo- my main focus has been s- I was going to say school. <laughs> nice. <laughs> no, I didn't know you went back too. <laughs> my main focus has been work right now. Um, we have gotten a little bit busier, so um, just trying to you know pick up some of the slack and 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 some of the some of the stuff. Uh, some of the calls that I've had are have been a little. Uh, how do I say a little complicated uh, than you know other calls, but it's been good. Um, so far so good. Started off the year very good. Got my first paycheck of the year, and um, it's looking good. So we'll see what the rest of 2022 has. Um, there are some goals that I have uh, set for this year. One of them is to lose weight. Um, yeah, Lena looks at me like, yeah, you're crazy. You're not going to do it. You're not uh, going to do it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't, don't make me sound so unsupportive. I mean, I mean, it's it's not that. It's it's my own fault for saying this multiple times. And too many goddamn times <laughs> that we don't even this believe. This is you like a anymore. every three month thing where it's I'm gonna start eating healthy, going to the gym on the first, and then he he the first comes around. See, and no, he'll start it. He'll start it, but then it's like, oh, I won't have any soda, and then it's no, but then I want some soda. And then he goes and buys twelve pack of cokes, and it's it's hard. I mean, I mean, it's okay. It's hard right now because um, with the job that I do, I drive around a lot. And yes, it's easy to say you're going to pack your lunch, you can heat it up in the car, whatever. But realistically, sometimes we're like from call to call and I'm like, dude, I don't want to fucking connect this shit. I don't want to wait for this shit to heat up. I want to get the fuck out of here. To me, it's like I'm wasting time trying to do all these things and I don't end up doing them. So at the end of the day, I come home back with a a full bag of lunch and I never ate it. You know, there's days where I don't even eat. And yes, I know that's bad for me and whatever. But I mean, it's just impossible you know and yes if i put my mind to it maybe i can accomplish it but i'm i i just know i know how i am and i know i'm not gonna do that but um my goal is sometime this year 
Wow. <laughs> what a goal. All right. I mean, it's one of my goals. It's not a it's not a resolution or anything like that. It's just a we've, goal. We've already degraded <laughs> into sometime this year. <laughs> yeah, when I'm, like, like I said, sometime this year, um just focus on on health and 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 my weight especially cuz Lord knows I've uh, I've ate an extra few tacos more than I should have. Um but yeah. An extra few, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You ate okay. the whole freaking tronco <laughs> by yourself, dog. <laughs> hey, man. Don't make fun of the tronco. <laughs> I got to, bro. Don't insult his delicacy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's it, look, realistically, if it were that easy, everyone would do it. It's not that it's so complicated to do. It's just it takes consistency and it's easy to start something, but it's hard to keep it constant when it's so easy to just you know stop somewhere and get some food or it's easy just not to have food because that's not good for you either but i know you know that yeah i mean it, it's, there's there's actually a thing about that called like psych, some psychological trick to making yourself do things easier or making yourself you know change your habits and it's called the 22nd rule and i'm not gonna go into it but it basically means um make the thing that you want to do 20 seconds easier for you and make the thing that you want to stop doing 20 seconds harder. That just complicated my life. I'm just going to go back to not doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, that, that's pretty something. I mean, I've also read the snowball effect, like start with small goals. So that's why I, so, okay. So I have one, like I have no, see small goals and a snowball effect. You're basically rolling a snowball up the hill. No, because yes. you're, 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 you're because you're taking that effort. No, because you're starting small and it ends up becoming yeah, a big ball. Yeah, but you're starting from no effort, though. Yeah, that's why it's small. It's it a small effort and it gets going down the hill. Snowball effect means going down. I, I know what the snowball effect is. I'm just trying to say, like, the way you're <laughs> describing it to me, it's like it's the opposite because you're putting effort into something. No, because, okay, so. And it's, when it's so much easier to not. So, okay, you know, so. Snowball. Oh, my God. Okay, let, let me, the, let, point, the point is to, to build healthier habits. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Let me, Don't let me. you want to be a better you? Oh, God, stop. I improve yourself. Invest in yourself. Oh, God, you sound like a commercial. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, no. The reason I brought that up is because um, last year, um, when I first started working at this job, in order for me to meet um, certain uh, criteria for, uh, for pay, I have to meet certain goals. So in order for me to reach those goals, I need to know to visually see what I need to accomplish day by day. And that kind of helped me set up this year's goals, like taking it one step at a time. So I'll do a quarter at a time. So three months at a time. So, for example, one of my goals in the next three months is to save up at least $10,000, um, which is really, really hard uh, considering. Um, but that's my goal. Like, that's one of my goals. And I ha like it, it's not that it may or may not get accomplished, but, you know, that's that's one of my goals. That's what I want to. Uh, achieve in, in the next three months you know and that's that's just the way i see it and it's one of my many goals for three months but then i have one goal overall at the end of the year where i would have lost at least 50 to 100 pounds okay so it's not just right away like one month to the other it's a series of goals so in a three month span i want to lose 15 pounds or i want to lose 20 pounds you know, and accumulate that. So at the end of the year, I achieve my overall goal. Okay. But with saying you want to do that, let's say, like you said, 15 pounds in, yeah. in three months, you have to set daily goals that's in why. order to reach that. So it, you can't just say you want to lose the weight. You have to that's plan, why. It, plan it out and or that, else and, it's and, not going to get done. And that's why I said, like, I do it. I'm doing it in quarterly goals. So I'm doing goals every three months so that I can achieve them. And kind of feel like I'm doing something as opposed to trying to do the most in one month and then hating myself for not accomplishing it and then not doing it anymore because I feel like I see no results. You know, so that's that's just the way I see it. You know, um, I wanted to do that and try that this year. I don't want to do that New Year's resolution where it's New Year, New Me. I'm going to start doing this. I'm going to start doing that and not do shit. And then wait until... <laughs> go to the... Get a gym membership. <laughs> go for like a few times and then... And then bye. Know. Yeah, that's why like... A lot of people are, who are regulars at the gym are, are annoyed because there's a lot of people who are there right now who are not going to stick to it. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. I kind of hate that I didn't stick to it. I was actually being really consistent with it. But then we got sick in December, and thank God it was not any of these insane new strains of COVID. Um, thankfully, we the got Omarion, tested. the Florida. What? Oh, you, you didn't hear oh, about the, that? The Florida is really bad, dude. Oh my yeah, God. the Florida. You haven't heard about the Florida? Is it the Florona one? Yeah. Oh Jesus! It's called the Florida. You have Omarion, Florida, Delta, o- OG. There are just so many strains, but <laughs> I'm just thankful we didn't get that sick. Um, it was just a simple cold because it was getting colder in the you know climate. Yeah. But um, I, ever since then, I I just never really got back to it because holidays hit, and then now school's hitting. So I'm the tamales hit, the pozole hit. You're like fuck that. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> nah, it's not good. I've been like one year without being sick. I've I've gone an entire year without being sick. Yeah, it's pretty interesting to to remember that literally a year ago we were. That's the last time I got sick. We were really like on the floor. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. curled up in the ball. I think last year at this time we hadn't even recovered fully yet. But actually, yeah. No, by, by we, this time. No, we weren't. No, we weren't. We weren't. No. We were barely getting COVID tests around the, this the, time. The day. Oh, you're right. You're right. The day we fu- I felt we fully recovered, or at least I did. The day I felt I fully recovered was the day of my mom's birthday. The ninth. Yeah, that's that's the day I feel fully recovered. You recovered first. Yeah. Um, oh, you were the one hit first. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I yeah because I didn't go back to work until like the fourteenth. Neither did I. I think I went right af- right before that. I think. Yeah, I think you went in like a day or two before. Yeah. I went in months later. <laughs> <laughs> you called in sick for that much? Just kidding. Yeah. No, uh, but but yeah, overall, I mean, that's been basically my my last, you know, week just work um and just enjoying my time off and and family time and stuff. And just getting back to it now, you know, getting back to the grind. Um buying more pack outs that I shouldn't buy. Um but yeah. you admit you shouldn't buy them. Uh, I mean, yeah, no. I I see their I see their 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 benefit. But they, I also see why they're such a pain in the ass. You know, you know what's funny? I just found out today, in the UK. Ha ha ha! Very funny. In the UK, packouts are half the cost. Why? Then you should order them from there. Well, the fucking shipping is gonna be <laughs> turns out the same thing. <laughs> okay then. But yeah, that's what I found out today. How? Oh, why? And they have black boxes. So you know how the in the US there's red boxes. Yeah. They have black boxes in in oh, the UK. But you're not answering my question. Yeah. Why? why? I don't know. I don't know. It's not that they're made over there. Well, but obviously it, not, because it's a. Um, I want to say American company, Milwaukee. I, I don't even know what the fuck they are. Wow. Yeah, but but yeah. Someone that sports a lot of red, you know, very little about the company. <laughs> <laughs> I just like their products, and their products are good. So, um, but yeah, I I just found that out. I was like, what the fuck? And then it's funny because I didn't believe that. I don't believe everything I read off the internet. So I. I did uh, use the VPN to have a IP address from a Europe uh, country, and then went on their Amazon and tried to order a pack out. Yeah, thirty two bucks for the same box that cost sixty four here. Can you get it Prime to America? No, you can't. Well, you you can't get it Prime, but you can get it shipped. But the shipping is just, you know. That's- it's gonna be the other. Like, the, the only benefit is that you get the black box. That's the only benefit. The, well, the, isn't that worth the it? black box at no extra cost? Yeah, sign me up. True, but yeah, sorry, I, I ranted too much about Milwaukee. As per usual. <laughs> How about you, Chris? Guys, what you been up to? I installed these lights. For those of you who are not in this room here, <laughs> <laughs> Chris is pointing up at his lights. LED lights yeah. surrounding the bed. He got a new LED strip lights, and he put them on the bed. Yep. And he and thinks he's cool because he's like. It looks very swell. I can <laughs> I can change the colors. Oh no! Now he wants. Do, do you guys want to see the colors? No, change? thank you. Let me show you the colors changing. They are currently oh. Green, red, blue. Green's the best. Blue. Okay, that's that's kind of neat. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. And the, the like the even cooler part is that I can hook or I can link my account to the Google thing and I can control it with Google. Google Assistant is the best. 
It is. Yeah, it is. It, it is. is. It, it is, is very, very great. Screw your Alexa. I swear to God. Flames she doesn't kids, even, Alexa. She doesn't even me. tell me the packages are here anymore. It's because she's unplugged. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. There's she was now un- the real question is who unplugged her? <laughs> Didn't we unplug it to a charge ring? I have ring? no idea. I have wow. no idea. Yeah, because that's where we charge the ring batteries. I, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So, what else you Alexa sucks anyway. She's off. <laughs> <laughs> She's on a TSM. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what else have I been up to? I ordered a bunch of stuff. You did. For it to clean, like, my room. He's going to revamp his, uh... I'm going to conceal all the wires. Conceal. And make sure that they don't... Just wire it took, I guess? That's what you call it? That's what you call no, it on a car. It's called wire management. Oh, wire management? Yeah. Okay, well, for a car, it's called wire tucking it. Uh, I don't know. That's a poor choice of words right there. <laughs> I wouldn't want to use those words. Uh, I mean, why are you tucking it? Uh, why are you tucking it? <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, it's been. I spent like roughly. In actuality, I spent like sixty bucks, but I only paid thirty out of those sixty. I had some rewards on one of my credit cards that I used. Okay. Wow. And they weren't being used, so I was like, ah, screw it, why not? Nice, nice. Okay. That's yeah. always nice. Yeah, it's cheap, so when I get a chance, I'm going to start wiring, moving wires, wire management. Wire tucking? Wire tucking. <laughs> 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 oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just, you know, make everything look a, a little bit nicer. Um. Lena's little brother gave me some uh, Philips Hughes. I know I talked about it last time, so did I? Right? I think I mentioned it. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah, I you did, did mention it, right? Yeah. When we went over the gifts. Yeah, yeah. He he gave me like that strip, so I'm gonna uh, install that after I wire tuck my computer <laughs> 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 and everything around it. But yeah, I mean overall, um, I have I, I'm thinking of actually doing it to my TV because as you can see. If you look behind you guys, the wires on my TV just look are all over the place. Okay, so you're gonna wire tuck them. Yeah, so I'm gonna wire tuck the TV. Them. Yep. Okay. Well, good luck tucking. <laughs> uh, I mean, other than that, <laughs> uh, I think that's pretty much it, man. Everything else has just been work. Uh, as of recently, it's been slowed down. You know, like they think these past two days we didn't ha- we haven't been busy at all. Yeah, it so, tends to happen. Yeah, so we're kind of Un- just shooting the shit. Until uh, people get their tax money and they're like, oh, uh, I got, I got. yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait till people get their tax money. That's what? Gonna $60 oil change, boy. <laughs> you better give me the good stuff. <laughs> I, I want, want synthetic, sh- sir. <laughs> 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 yeah, they're full not going to syn- care. Full synthetic. And, and, and it's funny because a lot, this year a lot of people are going to get a lot of money back uh, because of all the credits and stuff pending from, you know, other... Uh, well, let's hope so. <laughs> God use bless them. America. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm I'm gonna have to pay. I already know. Sucks for you. <laughs> All good though. All good. Anyways, uh, well, that's you know, 2022. Our in a nutshell. In so a nutshell. Far. So far, we're like a weekend. All hell's breaking loose. Um, and but we're still, you know, we're yeah, still man. Kicking. Some somebody broke those seals from Supernatural and just you know opened the gates to Armageddon. Oh my God. Um, Does that mean they come back? Hopefully. I miss Supernatural. I do too. Supposedly they're going to create a, p- a spinoff show. Yeah, they are. It, it, it was but already it won't confirmed. Be the same. It's not going to be the same. No, it's not. But gonna but I think they're actually going to like direct it. <sighs> yeah, but it's still not the same. Yeah, not. yeah, it's not going to be the same. But at least you, you still get yeah, that little it's, touch. It's not you know it's not Sam yeah, and Dean yeah, anymore. Exactly. Yeah. But at least it'll have their flair in it because they'll hopefully have a say in everything that goes on. So. Well, I mean, we can't even if they did start showing it, we can't watch it because we have like a million other shows to watch. <sighs> Very true. Very true. All right, Lena. Well, I'm not the host today, but uh, I'm going to go ahead. Ah. See, I, I hate that I can't pronounce things right now. Lena, how about you start us off? Sorry. Continue. Sorry. That's probably why she's the host today. Yeah, she's the host today. Why are you quiet? 
You're supposed to be hosting this thing. <laughs> I'm obviously not very good at my job. <laughs> <laughs> well, as we've already gone through our weeks um, or week of 2022, um, before we get into the next or f- to the first beer of this year, I want to wish everyone a good 2022 and hopefully off to a good start and hopefully everybody is staying safe because it is getting crazy out there again um but yeah let's uh let's keep this podcast going make sure you don't catch the tristan thompson sorry that's uh never mind i take that back boy what are you talking about (laughs) (laughs) you ain't making a lick of sense right now (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's because you know how how they nicknamed like the Omicron, Omarion, yeah. uh, the the Florona, Florida. Yeah. So they're saying that this thing is jumping around so much, like it's like Tristan Thompson. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, I get it now. <laughs> that's that's the whole thing. There you go. <laughs> there. <laughs> okay. So that's a good one. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this brew. We're gonna be going over Saturday's IPA. And that's from Green Flash Brewing. Uh, but before I give out any more details and all the fun stuff, let's do one of our favorite parts of this podcast, the Krakening. So take a seat, relax, and we'll get into this ASMR section. What's ASMR sound for? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right, guys, we'll be right back. And we're back. Your favorite phrase, and now you're saying your it. favorite fa- <laughs> phrase. <laughs> That's your favorite phrase, <laughs> but <laughs> <hey>. <laughs> anyways, um, let's uh, get into this crackening. Oh, I'm looking forward to this one. It's been sitting in the fridge. For- oh, party, party pals. <laughs> it's usually me, anyways. Like I was saying, I'm looking forward to this one. It's been sitting in the fridge for two weeks. Really? No. Yeah. Two weeks? Well. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. We no. were supposed to do it for last week's episode. And it's. Well, it's been a week and a half, I guess. Yeah, it has not been two weeks. Well, it's getting. It was getting pretty close. No, it has been two weeks. I don't know. We were, we were supposed to do this for um episode 20. And as a I backup. I feel like it hasn't been two weeks. It's been two weeks. Wow. Anyways. Start us off, Lena. wrong with you it's good where do we start wow just kidding (laughs) what the hell (laughs) anyways so like i mentioned before this is from green flash brewing company uh they're from san diego san diego california oh you so you hear that you guys get to be the first uh brewing company we pick for our season two congratulations and you know what's funny i can't go back to san diego (laughs) (laughs) hey what's up lena maybe i shouldn't mention it now but the beer we were having before you know we get into this one we're reviewing is also from the same brewing company yeah so if you guys haven't really caught up to the way we do our episodes (laughs) now by this point i mean go back to season one (laughs) but um basically the way we do our episodes is we take a shot of some very, 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 very cheap rum called Sailor wow, Jerry's. Wow, I wouldn't say that. I think there's actually cheaper. Yeah, probably, but still. This um, one is just a real smack in the face. So, so we t- we take a shot of that before the ep- the episode. We start before we start recording, and then we do we drink a chaser. You know, sometimes it's whatever we have in the fridge or whatever we decided to buy for that day. And today's chaser was um, a beer by the same brewing company. What is it called? Paradise. No. Tropical DNA. Yeah, tropical DNA. Tropical DNA. (laughs) Why'd you say paradise? (laughs) Oh. It's the biggest word on the back of the can, dude. You see like come on man. 
<laughs> Give me some credit. <laughs> you, you get partial credit. Thank you. That's all I ever <laughs> asked for. <laughs> well, the, that it was a it is um tropical DNA, which is an a hazy IPA. Um, that that one just really quick info on it was a seven point oh alcohol by volume. Uh, didn't taste like one. No, it really didn't. It was actually pretty smooth. Um, definitely very citrusy. And Tropically. Tropically, yeah. For yeah, sure. yeah, for sure. I mean, it was it was such a good drink that I was able to finish the can before we got into the beer. Normally, before we get into like the crackening, I would still have some leftover beer from like the the chaser. Yeah. So this beer was actually pretty good. So I'm excited to try this one. Right. No, no, I I agree. I I actually had a little bit towards the crackening still, but uh, just because I was rambling on and stuff but um it was definitely very smooth and very good and i guess this this other one uh satter haze is uh it's also a hazy ipa and um also very citrusy very interesting huh yes lena very interesting (laughs) so like i was mentioning this was uh from san diego california they have a full-scale brewery and tap room uh, it's about 4,000 square foot long or square feet long, right? Yeah, it's square that's, feet. That's grammatically correct? Yes. Okay, cool. I Thanks. know you don't English, but th- that's the I, way you say I it. I said it earlier. Yeah. I don't English. So then what do you do? Uh, just about nothing. You don't math. You don't English. Yeah. It's okay. Continue. Ah, uh, she musics. She musics. Not anymore. You music. Continue. Once you music, <laughs> you always music. Once you music, you always music. <laughs> All right, so uh, they also have a beer finder on their website, uh, and they sell online, but not off of their website. They do it through the new website slash app, uh, Drizzly. Yep, that's um, I have that. I'm pretty sure you do. I don't doubt that at all. It always tells me that I'm thirsty. Oh, I'm starting to think it's right. So you are thirsty time. yet? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so they, you know, they have um. The typical can beers, they have a 19 point, what is it, 19.6? Yeah. And uh, then they sell kegs. So that's pretty cool. Yep. And they usually recommend if you are interested in a keg to call ahead of time just to see what they have prepared. And then you can go ahead and pick it up. Keg stands on the weekends, guys. E- this is an American pie. Oh, thank God. Thank <laughs> God. Because <laughs> as, a, as a high school band geek, I wouldn't be terrified. I'd You'd be terrified it, if you went to that band camp. You know, Hell yeah. You know what's funny? Uh, I was reading, you know, for those that don't know, uh, the chick that said the famous phrase in, in, uh, in American Pie, the, uh, what did she say? The band This camp? one time in, in band, band camp. camp. Okay. So, so apparently, you know, now that she's older and she has kids, <laughs> she's very, uh, she's very, uh, what is it called? Like conscious? Uh, no, no, not conscious. She's uh, embarrassed. She's embarrassed oh. about that phrase, and she's embarrassed that her kids will eventually hear that. <laughs> and I mean, for you know, the, they've already seen the movie. <laughs> well, I mean, her kids are young still, but you know, she's very embarrassed about that. And I mean, it's funny because for those that don't know, she's usually like, she's uh, she was in How I Met Your Mother for like the longest time. Right. Um, she was in Buffy. She was in Buffy, um, and she's very quirky, mm-hmm. you know. So, her her role in in uh in American Pie was. In in a way similar to that, but <laughs> More dumber, <laughs> dumber and sexual. Yeah, exactly. I think that's the part that would and, really get to the kids. Yeah, <laughs> and and that's what she's uh, that's what she's like, you know, embarrassed about. Hmm. You know, now she doesn't like bringing it up because they, they, uh, when people see her out in the streets, that's the first thing that comes to their mind. You know, that one time at band camp, and she's like, oh fuck, like I, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> you know, so I just found that interesting because um, before I knew her in How I Met Your Mother, I hadn't seen Buffy. And that's the only other place I knew her from from uh, American I've Pie. I've seen Buffy. <sighs> it's not my not my cup of tea. It's pretty good. Good um, watch. As a as a high school band geek, uh, it's terrifying to hear the phrases that they would say about band camp because it's like she was talking about sticking a flute up or you know what, and I was <laughs> like, I was a flute player. I wouldn't want to do that. That sounds. Anyways, yeah, but but it's it's, it's American Pie. And then and then there's like sticking a trumpet up his. Yeah, it's just traumatizing as a, yeah. Well, well, we're gonna get back to this. Uh, back to our. Yeah, sorry for that American Pie <laughs> tangent here, but uh, yeah. No, it's just funny that you you brought that up. 
Um, so this company was started off by Mike and Lisa Hinckley. Uh, just about in 2002 is what it said on their website. Okay. Um, and they like to incorporate all of their staff, they say. So based off of their web- website, it says they state every person on their team contributes to their success for their beers. They rely on them to contribute to bring a new, fresh approach to brewing beers. So I think that's pretty cool. And I really hope that is true because um, I feel like a person can definitely run out of ideas. And um, it's always good to have a new perspective, new eyes to look at something. Yeah. I mean, you don't want things to get old and stale very quickly, you know. So, yeah, that, that's cool. Yeah. And then they have this nice little paragraph that I'll, I'll read to you guys. Um, so it says... Our talented brewing team has developed an award-winning assortment of specialty craft ales that are uniquely green flash. After releasing the game-changing West Coast IPA, which is the IPA that kind of blew them up, uh, their beers developed a loyal following of craft beer lovers. We remain steady, steadfast in our co- a commitment to a beer-first philosophy. For that, we celebrate by beer enthusiasts all worldwide. To keep our fans thirsty for more, we consistently produce experimental, limited edition, and seasonal offerings in addition to a solid lineup for longtime favorites. Through our trailblazing approach to craft brewing, we have established a benchmark within the craft beer community. Our award-winning beers are on draft and in bottles at restaurants and retailer outlets near you. And then again, reference to their beer finder online <laughs> you mean drizzly no they have an actual oh they have an actual, actual beer finder no they have oh, a beer finder okay, but okay. to order it to be delivered to your house drizzly yeah 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 it's it's funny how how delivering beer works like a company can't just deliver beer to you that's the funny like like you know a brew a brewery can't just deliver beer to you and, and but that's crazy because i've seen it before yes but not in california it, it's weird, I'm telling you. It, it has. Well, I mean, we reviewed, um, oh man, what was that brewing company? Kern River, and they, they can have it delivered to your house. Yeah, but locally. Is that considered locally? I mean, San Diego? They, they won't deliver. No, no, Kern River. Kern River will now deliver beer to this house. We're not That's local. That's what it said. It's not, I mean, whatever. I guess it it I guess it varies, and then definitely state I mean, states. Um, it depends on the states, because I know certain breweries. Uh, I know we've spoken about it that they'll only s- deliver to certain states. I mean, if we're wrong, just let us know. But I think for the most part, I think that that that's true. And um, I mean, I I don't know. I I haven't seen or read anything to say the contrary. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think that that is true. Like, there's just some laws or I don't know I don't know something in California that doesn't allow breweries to actually deliver their beer like yeah. to ship it out basically it's cuz you never you kind of have to be like in person because it's, they need to be able to card you I think I think it's that and I think it's licensure as well well I mean then explain how Drizzly delivers beer they're licensed they're so, the, they're licensed and verified like they're able to verify uh IDs and stuff because well, yeah, because I used to work for Amazon doing um, Whole Foods deliveries. And if I was, I think I worked Valentine's Day once or around Valentine's Day. And um, I was delivering wine and they make you like scan the ID and then have the the customer sign. Yeah. So it, I uh, guess, yeah, you there has to be proof of age. And you can't really do that if you're putting an order in. Online. Yeah, because I mean, think about it. Think about it the other way around. Like if if this app existed, where you could just order beer, and you weren't carded through that system, it, that's a loophole in the system. You know, people would do it all the all the time. So can't just companies just get certified to get card people? What do you mean? I mean, I, I just I don't know how it is. Like I don't know I don't know how easy it is to get apply to to apply for that. You know, I don't know how easy it is to to get approved for that. Mm. You know, makes sense. It's like the whole thing with guns. Like, you need to... That's just a whole other controversy, man. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm two, not... Two sides of the same coin that can't that can't, um, see eye to eye. Yeah, yeah. We still have the right to bear arms, though. Yeah, I'm totally going to get a pair of bear arms and hang them on the wall. 
<laughs> yeah, we. I have a right to bear arms on my wall. So it. I looked it up, and it says. Um, it, it says that uh, current California law, like many other states, allows wine growers who hold a direct shipper permit to directly ship to California customers. Notably, California allows in-state breweries to ship in-state customers. They're allowed to ship to in-state customers. So basically, uh, California breweries can't ship to uh, out-of-state customers. No. No, in-state. That's why. Oh, yeah. Okay. I guess that makes sense. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure every state is going to have their own laws uh, about this. Um, California is definitely pretty strict with certain things. Like, you have to be 21 years to drink. You have to. That's everywhere. Well, yep. okay, okay, yeah. okay. But I was going to get into other stuff, too. Isn't that a federal law? That's a federal law, right? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you could thank Matt for that one. Matt TV? No, 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 Matt. <laughs> Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Uh... I mean, I see where their point came, but. 1821 no that's nothing's gonna change people who people are exposed to beer unfortunately at a very young age not me no nope. well, not well me. it like think about it like this a kid can smoke oh well, used before uh, before a kid could smoke before they could hold a beer in their hand before uh, legally 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 yeah. legally so in 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 my opinion, I think a cigarette does more damage to the body than than a beer does. Very true. And I don't understand why. I mean, yeah, they changed it now, maybe for a different reason. I don't know why they changed it to be honest, but I don't understand why they made that thing. Like you know, why they made eighteen smoking okay for so long? They should have just changed it to twenty one as soon as they changed the alcohol too, because a cigarette's equally is well, not equally. It's more damaging to the body. There's also the argument. Uh, I don't want to get all the political, but there's also the argument that you have to be 21 to now drink and smoke or, or buy cigarettes, whatever. Um, but you could join the army at a even younger age yeah, and get exactly. into more violent acts and possibly be shipped off to like wars and yeah. still be exposed to alcohol and cigarettes yeah. before yep. you're 21. Yep. So it's just, I mean, it's like government, just nothing's ever really like perfect and, what are we going to do? I mean, I get it, you know. That's, uh, but yeah, that's, that's why. That's a whole other controversy that we don't want to get into. <laughs> <laughs> We're here for beer. beer yeah, but, but but Woo. to explain why it's 21 and not 18 anymore, Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Oh. That's that's what made, uh, they basically, uh, what is that? What is that word? They, uh, they rallied. They rallied until they, they, they got their petitioned. message across. And basically, they were able to. Uh, change the uh, legal drinking age from 18 to 21. Look, I mean, I'm not too mad about that. It, it, it's 21. What are we going to do about that? But it's, um, even after 21, people are still drunk driving. And it's like, sucks, you know, because it, it hurts a lot of people. And that's why we always say drink responsibly. Please don't drink and drive and, and all that stuff. We don't mean it to, like, just say it because, um... I mean, I don't think we're required to say it, but we don't say it just to say it. We 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 hope people are being responsible. Yeah, yeah, for the most part. I mean, if you guys are listening to this, you know, we hope I, you guys are at least of drinking age. Uh, if you guys are enjoying the beers with us, so you know, just letting you guys know. Probably don't listen to us on the road because, you know, you might want to quench that thirst. Not a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> Not a good idea, brother <laughs> or sister. Very yeah. True. So. Um, but yeah, what else you got for us, Lena? I see you taking a sip of that beer. What do you guys, what do you think of it? Um, very it's, citrusy. It's a one hit wonder, huh? <laughs> 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 no, I'm kidding. What do you think of it though? I love the smell. It's, it's, it's a 4.2. So it's one of the lower, uh, alcohol content, you know, IPAs, but it's actually pretty good. Um, I think it it's has smooth. It's very smooth. It has like a floral part, a uh, floral kind of flavor to it as well. Uh, not just like citrus. Uh, I think that's why I like the smell so much. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's good. What do you think of it? I, I like it. I mean, I'm almost done with it. Uh, I like it. It's definitely, I think, um, the one we had first, the uh, tropical. Way was, better. Tropical DNA was, yeah. I, think was I think I think it was a little bit better. 
Yep. It's, um, it's more our style is why. Yeah, but it's I mean, th- th- there's nothing wrong with this one. This was just a little bit more sour. And then <laughs> I like the dog. On, oh, I didn't even get into On that. the can. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, how, tell me about the how it looks. How's the can? How's the design? The dog is just chilling in a little, in a donut. What, is, like this, a is that what it's called? Yeah. A floaty. A, a floaty. Uh, well, yeah, a donut, floaty, you know. Uh, He's chilling with some shades. An with inner the, tube. With his tongue sticking out, with his paws on the tube. And he's wearing some sunglasses. He's chillaxing. He really is. And I think that's what Chris Cass's favorite part about this is, is the artwork. It, it It's really cool because it's also kind of like uh, creative and artsy in a psychedelic way. Is You know, would you consider it kind of psychedelic? I forgot what, what art style this is called. But this, 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 obviously, it not- has a name, but I forgot it. That is that is not psychedelic, by the way. It's no. not it's not psychedelic. It's oh, something else. I apologize. Yeah. I think it's like watercolor or something like that. I don't watercolor, know not even close. Water it's co- yeah, so, you're tripping. Something like that. Boy, it's called, you're way know. off. Yeah, you're way way off. I don't think I. For am, those of you I, at I, home, you would be able to see it in the picture that we'll post. Yep, you will. But yeah, what are you, what are, what are you guys' thoughts on this? Just like think if Picasso was a dog. What? <laughs> what? That's what the painting looks like. I don't, no, that Picasso. Anyways, maybe Van Gogh. I like on the side it says "endless dog days of summer." Yeah, dog days. The dog days. Of no, sorry. <clears throat> uh, A laid back, easy drinking, four point two hazy India IPL with tropical and citrus aromas. A toast from the coast. Part legend, part luck. The elusive green flash is a San Diego sensation, but to us, it's more than it's more than a burst of bri- brilliant green light. As the sun sets into the sea, it's a magical moment that signals the end of an extraordinary day and the start of an epic night on the horizon. I give you props for reading that, cause it, to me it looks really blurry. <laughs> or really? am I just blind? No, it is blurry. It's, it's blurry. It's like misprinted. When you look at it from far away, it looks a lot better, though. Yeah, you have to put it at an angle. I think it's meant to do that. It's meant to, like, trip you out. Yeah, because, like, yeah. from from here to here, I can see it, like, no no, no problems. But, like, right here, that's when I start struggling. Like, oh, shit. Those yeah. letters are blurry. Yeah. And then yeah. it says, keep your eyes on the horizon. I like that. Well, see, that's that's the thing. When, when you said the um the name of the company, I was going to say, like, why is it called, like... And like I said, I, anything anything that I hear that's interesting, I was like, I always think, Why? Like, why is it called that? Or why does it do this? Okay, you (laughs) six-year-old. I'm a growing boy, okay? (laughs) I may be 20-something in body, but in mind, I'm only five. And you can't can't argue against that. That, No, I I won't. I won't. That's that's not legal drinking age, though. So um, My body is over five. (laughs) But yeah, like so, this basically explains that I guess the green flash is probably like um, uh, like the horizon looking green in San Diego. I'm assuming that's what I'm getting. This is context clues, guys, from from the can. Oh, okay. Context clues. Use them. Can't come back to San Diego. Well, oh, so this has a 20 IBU rating. Did I? I don't think I got to that no, one. No. No. Um, and thankfully, this one is available all year round for those who eventually want to try it. Go ahead and go to the website. Green or Flash. go to San Diego. So so support the brewery. <laughs> absolutely. I, I wanted to. Sorry, I wanted to just go a little bit back to what Chris Cass was saying about the horizon and the green flash. So I looked it up because I'm kind of the same way. Like I need to understand why these things are the way they are. I was right, wasn't I? So it says this is Wikipedia. So I don't know. It you, trust it at, at, at your own risk. Uh, the, the Wikipedia is a collective it. conscious. <laughs> <laughs> so it says the green flash and green ray are meteor. I can I can never say that Meteorite? word. Meteorite. Me, no, are meteorolo- meteorolo- meteorological. There you go. Meteorological, optical phenomena that sometimes occur transient. Oh my god, what is wrong with me today? A lot of uh, your two beers in. That's probably what's wrong with you today. <laughs> <laughs> I will restart. <laughs> Uh, the green flash and green ray are meteorological optical phenomena that sometimes occur transiently around the moment of sunset or sunrise. When the conditions are right, a distant green spot is briefly visible above the upper rim of the sun's disk, 
the green appearance usually lasts for no more than two seconds. So it's like, boom. so it's literally a flash. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I kind of want to go to San Diego now. No, it's not. It's not just San Diego. Like, <laughs> it's in on any horizon. So I like, still want to go to San yeah, Diego. Yeah, but San Diego got one of the cleanest horizons I've seen around here. I don't know about that one. Depends where in San Diego. <laughs> I mean, depends. No, where I'm, I'm not trying to shoot on San Diego. You know, y'all shooting on San Diego. I don't appreciate that. No, I I, I want to go. I want to take a trip to San Diego. Yeah, San Diego's nice. I love San Diego. I love going to San Diego. San Diego's cool. Any any beach city is just. Yeah, I work in them. They're not all that great sometimes. Yeah, that, see, that's the issue. But that's you the problem. work in them. Yeah. You're that's, right. That's why you can't appreciate it. Yeah, but that's that's what green flash is, and that kind of makes sense because if you look at their logo, it looks like a like a, a sun, flash. like a sun in the center, and it's just a flash. You mean the horizon? Yeah, that. <laughs> Sorry, my words are not coming out right. It's okay. I don't English either. <laughs> I don't anything. Okay, you know how... Sorry, it just popped into my head. You know how we're talking about, like, the drinking age and, you know, like, smoking age and laws and government and stuff like that? Go on. So, I'm, you know... A, yes. A late... A, what is it? A late late bloomer. bloomer. There you go. Late bloomer when it comes to the show Weeds. And, uh... Oh, my God. You I'm may- obsessed. Oh, this is funny. I, I'm really obsessed with it. It's so good. Yeah. And um, it's just so interesting to see, like, when the show came out and how things were at the time compared to now where I'm watching it. I mean, there she she essentially is like a, 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 um, a widow, a mother of two, who is trying to provide by selling weed. She becomes like a, a, a drug dealer. How far in this show are you? I think season six at this point. God damn. <laughs> They're short episodes. Come on. Relax. Okay, so a lot of people... I'm uh, sorry to cut you off, but a lot of people compare it to Breaking Bad. No. Can you make... The, no? No. 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 It's no. completely A different. lot of people compare it. Like, no. like, oh, you know, it's the same thing as Breaking Bad. And I'm just like... You know what's funny, though? It's because they came out around the same time. Really? I yeah. think so. And and because when I was watching Breaking Bad, um, everybody told me to watch Weeds because it was coming out around the same time it was popular at the same time but i watched breaking bad and for some reason we didn't call my attention but in reality it's because i didn't know what it was about until flames kid brought me on and got me to watch it so i'm watching it you know who knows how many years later and um i'm watching it the i started it at the end of 2021 and now it's 2022 and it's just so interesting to see like how t- dealing or selling weed. I mean, I want to say drug dealer, but it's just so weird to say it now uh, because there are dispensaries all over the place. There are edibles yeah. who are being sold. You know, it's just a different time. You and say, it's You say drug dealers to me now, like I'm thinking like... Other, hardcore other drugs. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, other stuff. I'm thinking of crystal meth. I'm thinking of heroin. I'm thinking Fentanyl. Of, yeah, I'm thinking of like the crazy Percocets, stuff. Percocets, and then And they're calling her a drug dealer in the show and then she's like selling weed. I'm like, what's so wrong with that? But obviously it, it was a big problem and, you know, it sucks because a lot of people were, were busted and served a lot of time just for selling yeah. um, weed. But I just wanted to bring that up because it, 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 I'm really obsessed with the show at this time it's like what i'm obsessing on and uh comparing it to the times um it's just so interesting to see like i we were driving by uh no i don't want to put you on blast but you, we i went with you as you stopped to how dare you ha- <laughs> haven haven oh oh yeah 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 yeah. dude they had curbside pickup pick <laughs> curbside pickup imagine like curbside pickup like covid five years ago everybody (laughs) i'm just like i was sitting in the car as he went into the dispensary and there were people sitting in their car just waiting for their delivery to come out like it's food and uh and and then like how illegal it was just a few years ago so to me that's just crazy and i don't i don't know any thoughts i guess not it's interesting it is. It is. It is very interesting. The fact that people can, like are serving ridiculous amounts of years for that stuff, and it's like you get caught now, and it's basically a slap on the wrist. Right. So it it 
it's both ridiculous and a spit in the fucking face of the people that are still in prison for that shit. It's well, like, I know they were working on trying to like settle those because yeah, they, because uh, it's now kind of legalized. I I don't know where that's at, what, um, legislation wise, but um, still though, it's just like how do you how yeah. do you compensate somebody for that? You know, I mean, obviously, yeah, it's it's not there's. There is blame to be tossed around, but it's neither your fault nor the person that's telling you, "Hey, man, you can go now's <laughs> fault." You know, right, right. Yeah, it, it's neither their fault. But how do you how do you get something back from all that time you lost? Yeah. No. Yeah. Of course. And then they can't say like, "Oh, we'll compensate you." You know, like being, yeah, it's exactly. kind of like when you're found not guilty and they have to compensate you. They're they're not gonna do that because technically, what you did at Te- the time yeah. was illegal but then it just ended up not being you're basically just getting your sentence amended right is, is what you're doing but you're you know you're but still at you, you're still guilty you still did the crime but it's still illegal in other, in some states you know we're just in california so i guess people are fortunate here but it's still pretty bad in other places so to me it's just kind of like whoa I, I guess i had like a i don't know what is it like a a culture shock yeah uh, I guess that's what you would call it, where it's like as I was growing up, it was like no, you know, and then now I feel like a lot of people, <laughs> it's like normalized in California or at least in Los Angeles. Um, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, that was a good point. I mean, it's it's part of the change that's going on in society. You know, it's just people are accepting it. You know. At some point, we'll accept. Really, like, at, at some popular. point, we'll accept crack and cocaine. And oh my god! No. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I don't think. I don't know about that one. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. Are you? Yes. Um. So yeah, guys, what did you guys think of this beer? Honestly, this beer pales in comparison to the um, what do we call it? Tropical, tropical DNA. Tropical DNA. I was gonna say. Yeah, paradise. I, I kind of like tropical DNA a little bit more. Yeah. It it's not as uh bitter. Mm-hmm. Uh. And it's like more than twice as strong. No, it's twice. It's almost twice as strong. Sorry. Okay. I don't math either, so. So almost twice as strong. Starting with you, Lena. Um, what's your hoppy rating? Um, I and wanna, why? I want to give it a hoppy rating of um. I'm gonna be annoying and say seven point seven. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, now I have to give you like an even number. Yeah, you should. <laughs> to balance it out. <laughs> Okay, fine, fine, fine. I'll do a 7.5. Okay, why? Um, I want to give it a 7.5 because it's a good flavor. Um, I want to say due to the percentage, uh, it's a little um, friendly to a, a newbie. Uh, however, it is a little bit bitter, but it's just kind of like a, a reality check for like what IPAs typically taste like. Um, yeah. They're sometimes they're pretty bitter, but uh, I think it's just dry. It's more, it's like a more dry flavor. Okay. Um, but I like it. It's good, even though tropical DNA was, you know, a little bit better. It's just a lot stronger too. Okay. Um, I don't really have many complaints on it, but I don't want to like rate it too high, just because um, I don't know. I feel like, huh? How do I put it into words? I feel like uh may not mm. I, I I guess just in comparison I like tropical DNA better okay yeah what about you Chris Cass? I'm gonna have to agree with that uh with that rating so what you gave it a 7.5 yeah I'm gonna go with a 7.5 basically ditto <laughs> I mean yeah I, I kind of feel the same way about it it's good it's good um for people that are like are barely drinking IPAs, you know, this is something that they would should probably get a taste of. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time it's uh kind of bitter. Yeah. 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 I mean, I think my palate was my palate was ruined from this one. Yeah. So when I had this one it just didn't you know, I don't know, man, for for me like every time I drink like different beers, I would like to at least have like a progression, you know. So have one, and then the next one at least have it taste a little bit better, or have something different, or complement it in some way, you know? Yeah, I guess it didn't help that we kind of yeah. stepped a little down. Yeah, because uh, tropical tropical DNA was is 
pretty good, man. Yeah. Um, but Saturday Haze kind of tastes like a watered down version of it, a little bit. Okay. Okay. Well, um, I'm gonna give it a seven. Um, the reason being is it's not that it's bad. Um, but like you guys said, um, it didn't live up to tropical DNA. <laughs> um, I and, think tropical and, and, and DNA kind of screwed this <laughs> one. <laughs> kind yeah. of. I, it makes me wonder if I w- we were drinking like a, a typical like you know regular beer. And then we oh, we never drink stuff. any regular beers. We always have something different. No, no, no. But but uh, where I was going with it is that while Tropical DNA definitely set the standards high for this company, um, if we if I was looking at it through fresh eyes, I'm um, sorry, through a fresh palate, um, <laughs> Saturday is not bad. Um, I've had it's worst. Not. I've had it's worst. Pretty good still. Um, the reason it got a seven for me is like I told you guys on 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 I think it was episode twenty. I'm like. I don't want to rate a beer higher than what I've rated another beer that I've liked more. Um, and a seven to me is fair because it's not a bad beer. But to me, it's not a beer that I would go to. It's a beer that if somebody gave it to me and they said, like, hey, try it. I'll drink it. I'll be I'll be OK. Yeah. You know, it's, but it's not something like, oh, I have to go buy this. Triple play IPA is still. Oh, my God. My my Boy, advertising one. triple play IPA. He is literally He's advertising okay. a bad time for to, Hugo. To for all Hugo. Of, to all of our uh, happy happy time family, he just can't stop talking about this triple play IPA. It is the best beer I have tasted. Mm, so kinda, far, so I, far. I kind of like the, the Barnacles best one beer? better. No, I kind of like the Barnacle one better. The Lord of Barnacles? Lord of Barnacles. I yeah. don't know, man. Well, I don't well, know. I they really were both don't. really good. It was hard to have those two triple IPAs back to back because they were both well, really good. Back. Well, something I want to do this season with the podcast and, and before I close off with the happy ending, happy rating, sorry, happy, <laughs> <The> happy <laughs> just call hey, it the happy hey. ending. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just call it the happy ending. No, I like that name <laughs> <laughs> that trademarked. <laughs> um, I think it was already trademarked. Um, let me give it the happy rating, uh, the overall. So we are at a 7.33, uh, overall for this beer. Okay. Which is I think that, is fair. Is that higher or lower than anything on the chart? No, no, no. That's that's about average. We should keep this book. Yeah, we should. We should keep like <laughs> an actual chart somewhere. Yeah. Um. <gasps> oh, and then we could put Velcro on the back of it, and then we can kind of just slap them off the the thing, like rip them off the ranks. <gasps> That'd be amazing. Wow, that escalated very quickly. Yeah, we'll put it in your room. Yeah. <laughs> Everything goes in my room. It's fine. <laughs> no, but um, as I was saying. The one thing I want to do this uh, season is revisit old breweries that we have already uh, talked about. So, just for example, like, you know, I may pick another beer from Belching Beaver Ooh. or like another beer from like. Uh, cool, man, because I got like a list of beers that I want to go back to from brewing companies that like, you know. Yeah, there's some. There's some, so many. So many. Dude. There's there's a couple from 10 Mile that I definitely want to go back in. Pariah. And look at oh, my God. Pariah Brewing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there, there's a lot. So so we def- I, that's definitely something I want to do this season. Just revisit these old uh, older breweries that we've already uh, talked about. And, um, Ooh, you know, Santa Maria Brewing Company. I want to go back to that one. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, you know, just a suggestion, you know, as we are talking about this maybe we can do them as our chasers that yeah. way we don't give out the same information that we have already given about the brewery or how about how about we can't pick our own breweries because if we pick our if we pick our own breweries, we're basically gonna do research on the same thing twice well no but that's what i'm saying in in order to not do the research again pick uh another beer from the same brewery as a chaser as a chaser so we could talk about how good it is and at least uh, talk about the beer itself and then move on to a new brewery to review uh for the the episode alone so how about this how about we leave this to the viewers it's an idea it's an idea i mean the viewers the listeners yeah no no the viewers (laughs) so (laughs) listeners hey man it'd be weird if people were watching us right (laughs) if you guys are uh are are tuned in this far and have uh survived our uh our boring voices. Um, Excuse me. <laughs> Speak for yourself, buddy. <laughs> um, you know, we would like for you guys to, uh, you know, vote on this and message us and tell us what do you guys think. Should we do that as a chaser? Should we do a whole episode based on that beer? You know, what or would you, do guys... you guys want? Many reviews on the chasers that we pick. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. So just what, what do you want us to do? Tell us what you think. Yeah, so just message us. You know, we're we're very active on our our hobby Instagram, um, 
So just let us know, you know, and uh, we'll get back to you guys. And brewing companies, if you guys are listening, Blue Ranger, and you guys listen to us, uh, you know, we'd appreciate some feedback from you guys. You know, if there's something that, you know, we're missing uh, from talking about your specific brewing company, like if we miss some details or something, just let us know, you know. Or if you want to send us something you want us to review, we'll welcome that as well. Always. We'll always accept free merch. Um, you know, just get in contact with us. Blue Ranger, I'm not kidding. Send us some damn shirts. Or some B2Ks, please. <sighs> B2K. I'm running low again. <laughs> <laughs> we sound like crack fiends. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> no, no offense to crack fiends. I don't wow. even think crack fiends are listening to us. I don't know, man. <laughs> are there podcasts <laughs> about crack? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they bug out to our podcast <laughs> <laughs> oh god but with all that being said i guess we're gonna bring this episode to an end um i want to say thank you for listening to our very first podcast of the year of 2022 uh best of luck to everyone and to ourselves um don't drink and drive drink responsibly can't say that that's not you this time you have to say it's gonna, always me. You're going to have to say, we bid you adieu. Oh, that's you. That's why. You're no. me. I am, I am me. you. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for listening. I've been Lena. I've, I've been, been Flames Kid. And I've been Chris Cass. We bid you adieu. This was a weird one. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely We weird. don't even know what we're doing, to be honest. We never yeah. do, but tune in for next week to hear about our shenanigans and... Chris Cass's pick. I get a pick. Oh, yeah. You get a pick, sir. You always have a say. Any idea what you're picking? Nope. That's that's usually how it goes. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and uh, toodaloo for the night. (laughs) What? (laughs) (laughs) I think we've had a little too much to drink. Oh, man. This this is not. I need to get an Uber to take me across the hallway to my bed. Anyways. Good night, guys. Good night.